Welcome to AutoCAD Learning. In this session, we will solve a line diagram problem and do the dimensioning part of that. So, let's go to the problem first. Let's see the problem and let's analyze the problem and conceptualize that. So, in this problem, we can see that there is a block diagram type thing is there. There is a block type thing in which most of the lines are drawn as a perpendicular or parallel scheme. Uh, so, uh, for that we will try to use the ortho mode that will be helpful for us. Uh, if we start from that corner, so we can see that in the rightward direction, the first 15 goes in the x direction, then top 10 goes upward to the y direction, that is the y plus direction, then 25 goes to the x plus direction, then downwards 10 is going to the y minus direction and after that the rest of the part we have to calculate that. So, the total has been given 80, 15 has and 25 has gone to so uh, the rest of the part is 40. So, this very part is 40 is going to the y uh, x plus axis and after that uh, 125, 25 portion is going to the y plus direction and after that there is another portion which is not given in the value we can see again the total is 80 and up to that is up to that is 60 so the rest of the part is 20 and if we go from this point again upward 50 in the y plus direction and then 40 in the x plus direction then we will get the two points that are need to be drawn by the inclined line since the inclined line dimension and nothing no dimension no length nothing has been given no angular alignment nothing has been given so we have to draw in the both sides so so that do we can join this part again if we can start from this very point or this very point we can do this parts by ortho mode and up to that and when we come here when we reach here we can do a closed loop thing so that is the uh, we can do in this two way so, for simplicity we can start from the left corner or if we can go, if we want to go actually uh, to use the closed loop function, then we can use that. So, we will do in the both ways. So, let us start with the primary way. Let us go to the AutoCAD. Um, we have discussed the unit setup and uh, workspace setting, so we are not going to that. Uh, for the unit setup and workspace setting, uh, please uh, view the previous video. So, for that we need to switch on the ortho mode first and as no dimension or no coordinate dimension for the left down point is been given, so we are starting it from 0, 0. We can start it from anywhere, but uh, for simplicity I am starting from 0, 0. Just keep the coordinate 0, 0. Uh, the 0, 0 actually the origin point is here. So, we have to pan the screen. You can see that pan the hand like structure is been given in the navigational bar. So, click on it and pan the origin in the middle so that we can easily draw the thing. Pan escape. After that, just go in the rightward direction that is the x plus axis up to 15 just give the value 15 and enter after move the mouse pointer to the upward direction and give a value of 10 because it's going 10 to the upward 10 and enter after that go 25 as soon as the picture is going too much big we can do a zoom out go to this there is the zoom extent click the drop down and Select on the zoom out. You can see that the value uh, that the total thing is zoom out. I want a more zoom out. Just click on again and pan it to a better view. Pan for the better view. Okay, the pan and zoom has been done. So we have done up to 25 in the rightward direction. After that, 10 in the downward direction. So do 10 in the downward direction. And after that, we have calculated that is 80 minus 15 minus 25. That is 40. So give the value of 40 and then upward that is 25 and we have calculated again for the rest of the part that is 80 minus the total 60 that is 20 in the value so 20 up to this we have done click enter so this part has been done 
after that again take the line in the ortho mode clicking and selecting on just give the first coordinate 0 comma 0 in the in the next part we will go to the top or direction that is 50 has been given there give the value 50 then in the rightward direction give the value 40 we have done with this part so click enter or escape then we got this point and this point so make the ortho off because we have to do the inclination so just select on this point you can see the square green box click on this and then you will see another square green box here just click on it so and enter we got the actual view in the next way we can do it using the closed loop function so for the closed loop function we have to start from this point and end to this point so let's do it in the another way i am just clearing this what we have drawn selected and cleared so we want to do it in the other way so in this way you can calculate that extended portion where i am starting from the let's go back to the picture i am starting from this position if this is 0 comma 0 then this portion is 40 comma 50 this coordinate is 40 comma 50 so i will start from there so let's go ortho on we have done ortho on and go back to the line and give the value 40 comma 50 we have taken the uh, coordinate as uh, 40 comma 50 then we will go in the leftward direction up to a value of 40 enter then downward direction up to a value of 50 click enter then in the rightward direction we can see it is 15 click enter in the topward direction it is 10 after that in the rightward direction it is 25 and again downward direction 10 after that we have calculated 80 minus 15 minus 25 that is 40 we have done 40 after that a 25 in the upward direction and in the leftward direction we have also calculated that is 80 minus 60 that is 20 give 20 we have done up till this and then give the command clo ac or only c enter it will close the thing so we have done the drawing now let's skip to the let's get back to the dimensioning part for the dimensioning part go to the annotate you can see the dimension portion here just click in this portion and we need a linear dimension you can see that all the dimensions are in linear not in align so we are taking linear dimension take this 15 portion first okay the values which we are showing here actually showing in a very small font so just increase the font go there the uh, uh, not only the values font also the arrow font is also very small so get back to the values and arrows i'm giving the arrow font to be 0 0.5 just check uh, arrowhead and also uh, I am giving to a text font to be 1. Let's check it out uh, how it is. No, this is not eventually very good. We may need up to 2 or 3. As Let's check for a 2 let's say and at the arrow also give the value of 2. Click OK and close. Uh, it is quite presentable but in our picture in the problem we can see that we can see that each and every values are aligned with the line so just do that also and all the values are taken up to the zero decimal point so we have to do that same so again go to the dimension style that dimension style manager the command is dim style go to the modify and just go to the primary units and change the precision to zero okay number one and number two the text for the text do it from horizontal to align with dimension line and the text placement will be in the vertical above so it is above the line you can see that uh, a reference here also the preview just click ok and close we can see as we want it okay the 15 has been there and then we have to do the 25 for that we can use a continue dimensioning the command is dim continue 
and just it will take from the last dimension we have taken and after that we will select the next point. The profit here is that it makes the dimensions in a continue line. So that is why we use the continue dimension and for that we can use a base dimension also. Baseline dimension is there but we are not using that baseline dimension. We are directly putting it from this point directly to this point for that 80 value of dimension. We have done the 80 value of dimension and for the height of 10 just again take the values from here and here and extend it towards this in the left. After that we have to do the 50. So again from the origin uh, the left down corner to the top corner that is 50 has been done and in that side that is 25 in the right side just click on the two corners two end points of the line and just extend it and in the top also that is uh, from here to here this is a 40 I am taking the value again taking the dimension again as I am taking and take it bit up the 60 this 40 25 80 25 15 and 10 and 50 all the dimensioning has been done but one thing is there that the text is attached to the dimension line again just go to the dimension style manager go to the modify you can modify each and every aspects you want so go to the text and offset from the dimension line make it up to 0 0.5 it will I think make the work and yes there is a small gap has been there so we have done drawing the given line diagram with two methods and also we have done the dimensioning part also thank you for watching we will see you in the next video